There you go. You just need a little, little extra attention there, girl. That's right. It's gonna be all right. Jimmy's here. This is a 1948 Bonanza V35 from that V-tail in the back. It is known affectionately as the Dr. Killer. It earned that reputation. You might also know the song American Pie. Bye bye Miss American Pie, drove my Chevy to the levee. You know that one. It was written because in 1959, Buddy Holly, the big bopper, and Richie Valance, the La Bamba guy, died in one of these airplanes. Now here's a fun random fact. A coin toss between uh, Richie Valens and one of the other band members, Richie Valens won the coin toss to get the airplane ride down. And Merle Haggard was the other performer that was playing with them that night and he was a little smarter and he said, no thanks, I'm not taking some little pop can with a fan on the front in the middle of February out of the really, really cold area in Iowa, that area, South Dakota, Iowa is where they were. Uh, and he said no and he went on the cold bus and unfortunately that is the day that the music died today we're going to see if this thing will start up it'll be the first time in heck i don't know how many years uh the last i knew was the man who owned this was a hundred years old and he died in 2017 which was four years ago i don't know how long he didn't fly the airplane before he passed away. Five, 10 years, 15, I, I have no idea. But we're just gonna find out if this old jewel here will start up after uh, it's set outside here for a while. So come along, let's see if we can get this baby going. Let's take a look around at things. Ooh, what kind of stuff in there? Safety, ooh. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Motion sickness, we're gonna need that. It stands up. What do we got down here? Flight, the checklist. Okay. What that is. Article of some sort. Another one, matches. Wow, that's cool. A new 66 Dodge Custom 880. Wow. Dude, that's awesome. And the Monaco. Ah! Listen. Earplugs. Some radios. What we got? Hey, now that is a compact fire extinguisher. You know, I bet this one is uh, still in its inspection date. What do you think? Man, I kind of don't want to mess it up here. Whoa, look at that. Is there a date on it somewhere? Fantastic! Fire extinguisher, check. Let's see if these controls. Oh golly! Oh, there they go. Oh, that is. Ooh, that's rough. Pull it back. No, it's not coming back. Oh yeah. Okay, that one is open. That one. See any critters come out of there? Whoo! Oh. Here, go ahead and come on over here. 
Yeah, it's got a little bit of oil down there. And by a little bit, I mean that is some Illinois anti rust treatment right there. Whoo! Holy moly. I don't even know how much oil is in this. There's a prop. Let's see if the engine's frozen. No? Engine rolls over good. Spark plugs are rusted like crazy. Uh, yeah, the one's in the bottom. Okay. Go ahead and come on over here. Brake fluid. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's dry as a bone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Let's see the camera. Yeah, could use some. Okay, so it's got no oil, no brakes. Yes. Yeah. Let's go to the other side and see what we got over there. Oh, yeah, there's, oh, oh, it's going to the bathroom on me. That was a home to something. I'm thinking a bird. You know what? We start this thing up. This most of this will just blow right off of here. Oh, oh, and I think that's it. Yuck! Yuck! All right, come on around. We got more oil. It's mostly on that side over there, so something over there it looks like it's leaking. Maybe this oil line or something. Mm, there's a prop governor on this side in the back here. One magneto, two magneto alternator. I think. Is it an alternator or a starter? Oh, I bet it's a generator as old as this thing is. No, it's a starter. Okay. Where? The, oh, there it is down there. Wow. Yeah, doggy. Oil. That's also pretty dry and gooey. Okay, well, let's, let's pull the plugs and look down in the cylinders, see how bad those are. <sighs> ah, freaking bitey flies. Ow. Come on. Alright, gonna have to put some oil on that one, I think. Yeah. Okay, that one's gonna need some oil. Now, ironically, this one that looks like it's about rusted in half came off perfectly fine with no issues whatsoever. Go figure. That went in my mouth. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Yep, I would say sparrow. That's what flavor bird nest that is.
Hmm, probably gonna catch the bird flu from this. That's all right. I can just get a vaccine and everything will be fine and I'll, I'll be immune to everything. We need to come up with a name for this one. Let's see. The motor home is Thomas. Bertha is no longer in the stable. Let's see, the doctor killer. What? What's like a serial killer's name? They usually have some weird white guy name. Like... Philip or something. Yeah, that one looks all right. All right, let's get that. Last time I did this, there was bees. All right, we got rid of them. Yeah, man, that's just ridiculous. I think this prop, I don't even, this prop looks brand new on this thing. There is not a nick. I mean, there's a couple little ones here, but maybe a handful of hours. Can I get a clear prop? Let's slosh this slushy around to see if we can get a little lubrication in the cylinders. And one more time for good measure. All right, found the battery right here. Went over here, let's check it out. Okay. Oh, we got this. And it goes, oh look, that down there it's all corroded off. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Ow. Okay. Now then, how the heck do you get that thing out of there? Oh, okay. Take that one. Always do this with metal stuff on the positive side first. All right, let's take that off. Okay, here's that one. Ah, oh, that's a pretty good sized battery for an airplane battery. Oh, ow, 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 get in there. Ow, go on. Oh yeah, let's touch. No, oh, that was not me. Ants, ants. There's a whole stinging ants thing in there. Ow. Oh, they are not happy. Woo, look at all those ants. I gotta get a different screwdriver. Golly. <laughs> Sorry guys. Jim is here. Your life will never be the same again. That's very true for you too. A pretty good sized battery. Oh wow! Look at all those ants. Wow. Yeah, do you see that? Wow. Okay. Alright, fellas. Time to find a new home. Hmm. I need a battery that's pretty big that I can use to start it. Where am I gonna find a battery? I got an idea. Hey, Thomas! Whoa. Time to make a sacrifice for the team! Whoa. Yeah. That battery should work. Let's That's yank that baby out of there. Thanks, Thomas. You're the best! Thomas, you're too kind. Donated your battery. We're just going to run some jumper leads up here. You know, connected it like that into there. I, I can't see where this could go wrong at all. 
Silas, are you ready with the fire extinguisher? Nope. That's all right, we'll be okay. Okay, here goes. Positive, negative. Okay, do we got smoke? I don't see any smoke. That is probably the most nerve-wracking part of any of these things. Let's go see if anything turned on. Uh, let's see, we got a master switch somewhere. Speakers, volume calm, calm. Battery. Anything? Flaps. Nothing. Any gear. Oh. Golly, those are chunky. Huh. I'm not hearing anything. Nothing's going to be. Flash, no. Are you seeing any smoke out there? Nope. Is anything doing anything out there? Nope. Hmm. So I was given a whole bunch of keys by Jack. We have no idea what keys go to what. So. Here's one that looks kind of like an ignition key. Let's just try it and see what we got. No, maybe not. Oh, oh, there we go. Nothing. Ready? Spicy tuna. Nope. Nothing. Huh. Alright. Oh, I don't want to get under here because it's super gross. Ugh. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is happening. Uh, switch here, a relay of some sort. There's a switch hid under here. Anything happening? Nope. Here's a fire pool. Nope, nothing happened. Thought I hit myself in the head with that thing. It's not looking good. The relays that the battery cables go to inside up underneath, just a gigantic block of rust. And I, I have very little hope that they're gonna make connections enough to do what it needs to do, uh, which is unfortunate, however, we're gonna give it, give it the rest of the day. We're gonna keep on going. We're not gonna give up on, what did we call this one? Bill? Charles? Charles. Was this one Charles? I don't know. The mass murderer? How about Rusty? <laughs> rusty, well it is Rusty. Keep trying to figure out what little secrets you have hid in there. We're gonna give it the rest of the day because we still got two other airplanes to do while I'm here to see if we can get them going and if you don't know what I'm talking about click either over here or over there one of those two corners and you'll see the video where I bought all three airplanes this being one of them and our goal is to get them running to check them out and to get them flying let's do this
All right, let's come over here. Here, watch out. Go ahead. All right. Crank it. Clear prop. And this, I think, has a mechanical oil pressure gauge, so I was trying to spin yeah, it. You can see oil pressure if, once you're cranking it like that, too. If that oil pressure gauge works. Yeah. All right. Clear prop. Watch out. Nope. It didn't move at all? Not. Ready? All right, clear problem. Watch out. That's a mechanical gauge, right? Yeah. Nope. Not nothing. It doesn't surprise me. It, it's pretty rusty. Boy, and I'd really like to meet the person that came up with these stupid safety valves. Oh yeah, that's an excellent. I would like to shake their hand. Man, how the heck do you open this thing? I believe when you're doing that, you could actually get that more of a hazard. Oh wait, there we go. There's about a cup. All right, let's see if it even made it. Oh yeah, that's good, it's dripping. That's a good sign. Yeah. Whew. I wouldn't be surprised if the bulb on that primer was all dry rotted and stuff too. Yeah, that's possible, yeah, where you're getting air. Yeah. I'm about half tempted to just throw a little bit down the cylinder, <laughs> screw the spark plugs on and see if it'll light. I couldn't see an electric fuel pump anywhere, a switch anywhere for one. Do you know if this has one? I just can't remember. You would think that it'd have a, a fuel pump. <sighs> Uh, I'm going to roll it over some and see if we can't get some fuel up near that engine. Clear prop. Here it goes. All right. Oh. Clear prop. Ready? All right, here we go, clear prop. Let's give that one a shot. Ready? Clear prop. Oh, it wanted to. It wanted to. 
we'll give it a little little good morning juice first some petrol then some good morning juice just a little bit all right ready silas yep. clear her up We got a little life. Woohoo! Want a little more morning juice? You ready, Silas? Yep. All right. Clip her up. Woo! Thanks. Yes, it does. All right. Uh, I wasn't sure if the mags were hot, so I grounded it to make sure, but and that one seemed to work. Okay. Are they both pushed all the way in? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have you... And for the booster, just a little. There we go. All right, go ahead and take the white knob mm -hmm. and pull it halfway back, right there. All right, see if this thing will take a hit. Ready? Yep. Light fire. Come on, come on. Well, now that stupid thing won't go. All right, maybe that key switch is all funky. Take the key switch right there and turn it one click to uh, clockwise. Right there. All right, clear prop. We need something better saying than clear prop. Although that's pretty cool. Can I get a clear prop? It's that freaking key. Turn it all the way to the right. There, leave it there. Can I get a clear prop? Oh, it wants to. All right, ready to try it again? Come on, baby, light my fire. Thunder rolls. I don't know, we need, we need, we need to come up with something. Clear prop. Well, it's trying. All right, go ahead and turn that key all the way to the left. Yeah, okay. All right, that's it. You can go ahead and... Dirty rascal. There's still no fuel whatsoever. Because these lines are dry as dry can, can be. Can I start the plane? How's that? Can I start the plane? Can I start the stinking... Well, we got... A fuel leak back here somewhere. Whoa, this whole thing is leaking. Hey, bring that camera over here. Holy moly, look at this. I mean, that's leaking. 
We got that right there leaking. We got more leaking down there. Wow, no wonder there's no fuel getting to the engine. It's all leaking out of the airplane. Any leaking? Woo! Look at that. Boy, that's like right through the fuselage. Holy moly! That's really expensive fuel you're peeing out. Stop that. Oh, hey, there's a fuel thing. That's what I was looking for. Uh, nothing. Dirt. Huh. You dirty old girl. All right, Jack, this is for you. You ready, Jack? Ready no, the fuel system is leaking out of the plane everywhere. The fuel bladders, the whole underside of the airplane is soaking wet. Oh yeah. We can get it to cough. Here, stand by, clear prop. So, but that fuel system, nothing is even getting to the selector valve. I think I just, well, I just had an idea. Aha. Aha, if we take some hose, because the whole problem with that airplane is that it wasn't getting any gas. And we just skip all the gas tanks on it and go straight to the engine. This could work. And I think Get in here and see if you can see that. I think I can take that fitting right there off, take my hose straight to it, and just put this gas can up here. Yep, because that's a little higher. Right there. That might work. This, this could work. This could work. All right, let's give it a shot. This is gonna work. I have a feeling somewhere in here, it's possible it's heartburn because we just had pizza from the microwave. Either way, it's a good feeling. I feel like a crab. Mm -hmm. I am feeling kind of crabby. Oh, hey, that's good. We got fuel down here. Oh, whoops. I need to, yeah, reconnect all the fuel line. Really? This is leaking? 
come on. Hey. Okay. All right, I think we got fuel now. You spin me right round, Bonanza, right round, like a propeller baby, right round, round, round. We need a battery donation. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. I wonder if I can have the jumper cables go here and inside so I can do this from inside. Again, this is all activities approved in accordance with OSHA safety standards. Okay, here we go. We are going to see just how bad of an idea this is. We got throttle, we got that's already primed. Turn keys. On, I guess. Okay. We'll do that there. And then this one goes here. All right, clear prop. Oh, no, to the starter. Go! I'm going to call her Vanessa because it's a V tail. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. Turn key on. Okay, throttle's in. Mixture is in. Oh, I'm secretly nervous. Here we go. Can I get a, oh wait, safety. We got our fire extinguisher, so we're good. Clear, prop. I don't like doing this, but it's early in the morning and uh, I think Vanessa's tired. She needs a shot of espresso. There we go. That ought to be enough to wake the dead. Let's go. Woo, I can smell that from back here. Yeah. That is light my fire right there. A hunk of hunk of burning love. Okay. All right, clear prop. Well, I wanted to. She's wanting to. There you go. That should definitely be enough. All 
All right. There. All right. Can I get a clear prep? One or two. Puffing and coughing like it wants to. The checklist says to go to battery. There you go. That mixture right there is the ticket. That's what we did last time to get you to cough. Do it again. I'm pretty sure this thing is massively flooded. Okay. Clear throttle. And that is over to battery. Okay. Here we go. Clip up. That was still hooked up to the starter. That was awesome. All right. All right. You need another mixture, huh? A little shot of the special juice. All right. Let's... All right. You like that, huh? Okay. If a little is good, a lot is better. Make sure we... Oh! It ran out of gas! Now that is quite ironic. There we go. That's funny. I think the tube pulled out of the gas can. Ugh. All right. Whew. Ready to do this again? Sweet. Can I get a clear prop?
We ran out of gas. Somebody That's awesome. Wait, wait. You know what that means. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's gratifying. That, oh, is how we do it on Jimmy's World. If you're not a subscriber, you totally should be because this is pretty awesome. I don't know what you're missing out on. Little ding ding. Let's do this. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. I was digging around on the FAA website and found this. It is the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award presented to James Page Eaton. He was the 100 year old owner of this airplane uh, whenever he passed away in 2017. He was a pilot for 77 years. <laughs> that's insane. That, that's just awesome. He also was awarded the Chuck Taylor or as properly Charles Taylor Master Mechanic Award the same year in 2010. Jim, well done, sir. On Google, that's not all bonus content, I discovered he was a 32nd degree Mason and a Shriner with the, you know, little funny hats with the tassels and riding little mini cars and stuff. I mean, he's had special handshakes, you know, that kind of thing. And I've I want a special handshake, secret club. We got a master switch. Listen, oh, we got lights over there. <laughs>